Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a quick look at Android 5.0 on the Google Nexus 6. Uh, one of the first things that you'll notice is new here is that the way the pull-down menu works is a little bit different. A single pull brings you notifications, and you can see we're recording a screencast, and there's weather conditions. Second pull-down gives you access to the quick settings panel, which now includes this screen brightness adjuster and a flashlight icon, which lets you use the LED flash on supported phones as a flashlight. There's uh, the usual sort of old-fashioned uh, Wi-Fi toggles here. We've got Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, airplane mode, uh, cellular location, auto rotation. And if you look in the upper right corner, you'll see that there's a battery icon that gives you an idea of how much battery life you've got left. And here we've got a percentage. Tap on it, takes you straight to the battery settings, and you can see we also now have access to an uh, estimate of how many hours of runtime we have left. When you plug in your phone to charge it, you'll also get an estimate of how long it's going to take to finish charging. There's a new option here on, uh, on phones that lets you add a guest profile or add a user profile. So in, instead of just having access to multiple user profiles on tablets, you now have that on phones as well. And the guest profile is new, lets you create sort of a temporary profile or a, or a permanent guest profile if you want that lets you hand the phone to somebody without them being able to access your apps and settings. So they can't look at your browser history, they can't purchase things, they can't run your applications, but they can use your phone to go online. So that's a nice option to have. You can choose whether you want to receive no notifications, all notifications, or priority notifications only for a certain period of time. So say you're going into a meeting for the next two hours, you can do that. Or you just got 15 minutes that you don't want to be interrupted goes all the way up to eight hours and down to 15 minutes. You can choose what counts as a priority interruption. Say uh, events and reminders do not count. Uh, you don't want the phone to ring, but text messages, yeah, you'll take those. Uh, you can also say that uh, every Tuesday you have a meeting from 12 to two o'clock and it'll automatically go into that mode. So uh, that's notifications. And if we turn off the screen, you'll notice now that notifications show up on the home screen. And from here, uh, we have access to basic information. Uh, you can choose whether all notifications are gonna show up here or only, uh, uh, or if it's gonna hide sensitive data. So for instance, uh, I have it set up so that if a calendar appointment is due, it'll say calendar appointment, but it won't tell me the details of that appointment. Uh, in terms of security improvements, it does have uh, SE Linux and encryption And if we look at the About phone here, we can see the new Android Easter egg here, which is a game. It's basically a Flappy Bird clone that's almost impossible to play. My high score so far is one. There's a new design language that involves sort of a material uh, style. So you can see bright colors for uh, all the default applications here big sort of bars at the top, and everything's sort of designed to look and feel like physical materials, which is why the Recents menu now feels like flipping through a stack of cards instead of um, a series of thumbnail-type icons. The app drawer sort of opens up on top of everything, and uh, some of the basic applications have been redesigned with that same uh, material look and feel. So it's supposed to be sort of reminiscent of flipping through physical materials. Keyboard. This is the Jelly Bean style keyboard, which is an option that you can use if you uh, sort of like the old fashioned keyboard. Or we can go into the settings and enable the default keyboard, which is under appearances and layout, material light. So now it's definitely more of a modern style look and it doesn't look quite as much like a physical keyboard in that there aren't really the spaces between the keys. You can still type by tapping individually or by swiping. And if you don't like the light color scheme, there's also a dark option.
which is the one that I actually like the best. So. So that's a quick look at some of the basic new features in Android 5.0. Uh, another one is the fact that we can record the screencast at all. Uh, this phone is not rooted. I did unlock the bootloader, but I haven't rooted the phone. But the screencasting capabilities work. So that's a new feature, and I'm using uh, the Clockwork Mod Mirror Beta application to do that. So uh, screencasting is supported. Uh, there's a new Android runtime called Art, which uh, should make certain applications faster. There's improved graphics. There's improved audio. Uh, so there's a lot of other things that are hard to show in a quick overview video, but uh, this was, uh, mostly I just wanted to test the screencasting capabilities, and I figured while I was at it, I would go ahead and give you a little bit of a tour. So, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing taking a look at Android 5.0 on the Nexus 6.